what's up everybody, it's Pablo1713, hi and welcome in Anno 117 Pax Romana. Yes, the new Anno game has been announced during the 2024 Ubisoft Ford event, and we will be finally able to play now beloved setting for Anno. This is going to be the 8th Anno game in the series, and today I will show you all the easter eggs from the reveal trailer, and look in here if you'd like to see all the awesome easter eggs from Anno 1800, you can check this video right in here. And before we're gonna start, as I am part of Ubisoft Creators program, I would like to thank Ubisoft for providing me with the access to this content. Alright, so let's jump in into the easter eggs. So first we hear the words build it, and this actually has two meanings. First, for the long time, we, the Anno lovers, we were demanding the ancient setting for the Anno game. So, you know, we were screaming, build it, build the Anno game that we wanted. And the other hand, this shows us that developers were listening to our demands and now we will have 117. So now we can build it how we want it. By order of the Emperor. And right in here, you can see the mark of Anno. So this is the first A letter from the word Anno. My fellow Romans. And of course, Pax Romana, we are the Romans. And right in here, they are showing us what is waiting for us in the game. So empty islands with the mountains, plenty of terrain, rocks and field and thriving nature and animals. Just like in Anno 1800, but hopefully with much more buildable terrain. God damn it, please. I bring forth tidings of hope. On the toga, right in here, we can see the Emperor's seal, which means that in the game we will be facing the NPC Emperor character. Just like in Anno 1800, where we had to face the Queen. Across our glorious lands! For... Here we have the podium with the carved Roman symbols. So, 117 in the center, on the top left we have 1602, then we have the 1503, 1701, 1404 and on the bottom left you can believe me 2070 and 2205 and also 1800 what more on each end of the podium we have two symbols for two provinces that will be in the game so on the left side we have the latium and on the right side we got the albion so this is the in-game map that we'll have in the game. So you can see on the left side probably this is the Albion location and this is the Latium, so the Rome. Right in here we get the ships and so probably there's a trade route between those two islands. So you know like in Anno 1800 we have the Old World and the New World. And the ships right in here they are traveling probably into some expeditions to the Middle East or maybe to the Africa to get some uh, you know rewards with the specialists and probably animals. So you can see this is the world map and in the center we got like the old ancient Roman. Here we got England as I said, you know, Albion. At the bottom probably future DLC with some Africa. On the right side we got the Middle East probably in the future. And the top we have like the some Nordic territories like the Vikings maybe. Here we got like the Spanish territory. Maybe we got Germans and French, so Galicia maybe, like Asterix and Obelix, right? And in the middle we got the Slavic territory, so maybe, you know, future DLC, probably like seven you can have it in here. And this animal does not look like a normal ship. Maybe this is the ancient, extinct species, the Tauter ship, maybe. For we stand on the threshold of a new age. I was trying to decipher it, but I cannot read anything from it. Maybe you can. If you can, you can share it with us in the comment section below this video. Our streets shall be lined with abundance. Our fields shall yield bountiful harvests. And our coffers shall overflow with wealth. Another ancient species, Aura. This is the extinct cattle that will be available for us in the game for our production chains. And this mountain, it reminds me the mountain from the Land of the Lions DLC. You know, Africa, Simba, Lion King, you know what I mean. What more? This is more of the swampy, you know, wet areas. So probably we'll have to face more difficult terrain in the album. So it looks more like the England wet, rainy weather. An era of prosperity dawns upon us, heralded by the arrival of... We have the arrival of the ship right in here, and I think this is the same ship that is on the main wallpaper 
of the NL 117. So probably this is our main basic transport ship. The new governor. You can take it from here. So this is the side view of that ship, and it looks like the basic cargo transport ship. I also have this beautiful wallpaper. So you can see we got some aqueducts, so maybe we have to transfer the water in the game. We have the Coliseum, uh, so probably monuments will be available for us in the game. At the back we have the Volcanic Mountain, so maybe again we'll have some natural disasters in the game. That will be super awesome, right? And of course, we got plenty of farms, so probably a lot of production chains for us. And on the right side, we have an army. So maybe again, we'll be able to build our army. That was such a missed option in the Anno 1800. So I hope that they will bring us this option back and we'll be able to build the army, strong Roman army. And on the right side, we have the Albion, of course, territory with typical English buildings, much worse, more rainy weather. And on the top right in here we got the Stone Age with the lightning strike. So maybe we'll have to we have some aspects of the ancient gods and beliefs. Maybe we have to you know provide gods to make the happiness of the gods and also balance the beliefs of our citizens. So definitely we got the left side which is Latium and right side which is the Albion. So the two provinces that will be available for us in the game. And in the middle we have the temple of probably some god from the Roman ancient history so maybe jupiter or maybe mars who knows and the final thing that we have in here look at this 117 so we got 17 if we're gonna move the one to the right side then we have three numbers so three so this makes 1713 yes i will be there so this is another easter egg <laughs> for sure and of course, uh, I'm just joking. And of course, they're going to be at the Anno Dev Stream on 18 June 2024. They're going to be live stream. You can watch it. And for sure, we're going to have more information and more clear view of what the game will be. It looks like it's going to be very graphically same like the Anno 1800. So we're going to have beautiful graphic and we're going to have a lot of production chains two territories two provinces. That's going to be fun, probably. And I hope that they're going to bring back the army, but we're going to see more. With the dev stream and for sure i will cover anno the same as i did with anno 1800 so a lot of stuff for me for sure all right so that's it for today boys and girls i hope that you had some fun with me and i hope that we're gonna meet each other next time so boys and girls have a wonderful day and if you're watching this at night then good night see you next time